Japan has a rich and long history. It can be divided into four periods, prehistoric and ancient, classical, medieval, and modern for a better understanding. Evidence of the first human living in the Japanese archipelago has been traced back to 35,000 BCE. It was during the last ice age when Japan was connected to the Asian mainland. The prehistoric and ancient era includes four distinct periods. The Paleolithic from 35,000 BC to 14,000 BC, Jomon from 14,000 BC to 300 BC, Yayoi from 300 BC to 250 AD, and Kofun from 250 AD to 538 AD. Japanese inhabitants from the Jomon period were largely fishers, gatherers and hunters. Evidence of cord-marked pottery was found in this period. The Yayoi period witnessed the introduction of agriculture. Social classes also evolved in this period and Japan started to unite as a country under powerful landowners. Modern ideas along with the introduction of iron from Korea also happened during this period. The country was united as Yamato, Japan during the Kofun period at around 400 AD. It was ruled by the emperor and extended from Kyushu to the Kinai Plain, but did not the Kanto, Tohoku and Hokkaido. The first reference to Japan was available in the Chinese Book of Han during the 1st century AD. Buddhism was introduced to Japan during the Asuka period, 538 to 710, and was promoted by the rulers. Japan also enjoyed strong friendly relations with the kingdom on the Korean peninsula. Prince Shotoku wrote about moral and political principles. Confucianism and Taoism were introduced during this period. After this came the Nara period, 710 to 784. The capital was shifted to Nara and large Buddhist monasteries were built. This period also witnessed the gradual decline of Chinese influence, which brought a change in the cultural sector. This was followed by the Heian period that lasted until 1185. The Fujiwara family controlled the political scene for over several centuries during this period. However, their supremacy ended in 1068 with the rise of the new emperor Go Sanjo. The Insei emperors hold power until 1156. Taira Kiromori became the new leader of Japan. Historians consider this period as the golden age of classical Japanese culture. Both Shinto practices and Buddhism started prevailing in the religious life of the Japanese people. Japan was mostly a feudal country during the medieval period. It spreads over Kamakura period 1185 to 1333, Muromachi period 1333 to 1568, and the Azuchi Momoyama period 1568 to 1600. Chinese influence was strong during the Kamakura period. The Zen sect was introduced in 1191. That has large followers among the samurai, the warrior sect of pre-modern Japan. Two full-scale Mongol invasions were launched during this period, which the Japanese army fought with great courage and bravery. The country enjoyed prosperity during this period due to the use of iron tools and fertilizers, improved irrigation and double cropping. The Muromachi period witnessed several instances of transfer of power and civil wars. Portuguese traders and Jesuit missionaries landed in Japan around 1543. They were allowed to trade and build up colonies and introduced firearms and Christianity to Japan. Despite civil war and unrest, Japan went through economic prosperity during this period. Trading with China and Korea was also flourished and Japan soon started to transform into a currency-based economy from a barter-based. The Azuchi Momoyama period started in 1568. During this period, two powerful warlords, Oda Nobunaga and Toyotomi Hideyoshi, 
took control of the country. Hideyoshi destroyed many castles built during the civil wars and forbade samurai activities. He further confiscated the weapons that belonged to the farmers and the religious institutions. The land survey started in 1583 and the census was carried out in 1590. To study this period of the history of Japan, it is vital to know about the Edo period, 1600 to 1868, Meiji period, 1868 to 1912, and the post-war era separately. The Edo period was relatively peaceful and stable. It witnessed cultural flourishing as the merchant classes started spending on cultural and social pursuits. The emperor was entrusted with nominal supreme power at the beginning of the Meiji period. People in the government desired Japan to match the Western powers. The military and the navy were modelled on the French and British systems. There were tax reforms and the ban on Christianity was lifted. The government prioritised the introduction of railways, telegraph lines and education for all. Japan brought hundreds of foreign advisers on practically every field, including agriculture, education, engineering, mining, steel production, textiles, shipbuilding, etc., for ensuring rapid growth. Japan adopted the Gregorian calendar, and a constitution was promulgated. The post-war era is the most important in the history of Japan. Japan joined hands with the Allies in World War I, and went through experienced unprecedented economic growth. During the end of World War II, the United States struck Hiroshima and Nagasaki on August 6th and 9th, 1945 with atom bombs. It had a devastating effect and killed hundreds of thousands of civilians. Forces landed on the Japanese soil on the 30th of August, 1945 under General Douglas MacArthur. This is the first instance of foreign occupation in the history of Japan. Japan was defeated, but not dead. When the American occupation came to an end in 1952, Japan has envisaged reforms in the political structure, land and labor laws, education system, and enfranchisement of women. It was also ready to follow a recovery plan and has risen like a phoenix from the ashes of the brutal atom bombs and become a global economic power. This is the phenomenal story in the history of the world. Other than massive assimilations of foreign technologies and improving those, the reason for the economic leaps and bounds of Japan is embedded in the national character. The country has a highly skilled workforce, with a government focusing on attaining economic goals and the Japanese conglomerates supporting that. Besides the miraculous economic growth, Japan has also undergone seismic transformations in the social and cultural front. As a nation, the Japanese believe in bringing nature and technology together for overall growth.